treat a stranger till death he did part. That's all for this edition of Dateline. We'll see you again next Friday at 10, 9 central. And of course, I'll see you each weeknight for NBC Nightly News. I'm Lester Holt. For all of us at NBC News, good night. The Seduction, Dateline's newest podcast. Listen to the full season now. This burger will blow your mind. Really? How? Bacon two ways. Cheese two ways? Any more questions? Try my $5.99 double bacon cheesy jack combo. My tribe has lived on this land for 12,000 years. We call it Oleomi. You call it California. Our land, our culture, our people once expansive, now whittled down to a small community. Only one proposition supports California tribes like ours while providing hundreds of millions in yearly funding to finally address homelessness in California. Vote yes on 27. Tax online sports betting and protect tribal sovereignty and help Californians that are hurting the most. My 100% beef burgers are seasoned as they grill. Like my new double bacon cheesy jack. With double the bacon and double the cheese. It's so good, I put my name on it. The double bacon cheesy jack combo starting at $5.99. Order on the Jack app today. This is NBC4 News at 11. And a good evening. The reign of terror is now over. Tonight, what we're learning about the two men arrested in the 7-Eleven murders and robberies across four counties and a growing list of crimes they're accused of. I'm Chuck Henry. And I'm Carolyn Johnson. Colleen is off tonight. Those crimes happened at 7-Elevens and donut shops across several counties in Southern California. NBC4's Robert Kovacic live in North Hills tonight with the L.A. connection to the story. Robert. Carolyn and the LA connection begins right here in North Hills. We are standing near a 7-Eleven and it is close by where a man was found dead. His murder now connected to this string of violence. We learned a lot today, but there are still a few things we don't know, including how many more crimes are these two men allegedly involved with and what prompted any of it? It involves four counties, six people shot, and robbery after robbery at 7-Elevens and donut shops. This was a reign of terror. Even on the day it celebrated its 95th birthday, 7-Eleven urged its franchises to close early after a deadly spree. You go to a convenience store or a donut shop or a sandwich shop and to get shot in the face, to call your loved ones with your last gasps. But the week ends as police chiefs and the ATF gather to say it's over. We are...